Yo, what's going on guys, Mira here, back again with another video, and today the Wintrays gameplay details has been officially released. So, for those who have not participated in the previous Wintrays, it's basically like a prop hunt slash hide and seek event that you can play both with your friends and also with random strangers online. Now, I have been looking forward to this event for a while now, ever since its announcement in the 2.4 livestream, because it's always very very fun and I will look forward to um, streaming this as well as playing it live with you guys. So that's gonna be really really interesting so do make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out when I go live so you can play this with me. Now, we are going to be taking a look at some of the details and what's changed from the previous Win Wintrace event. Now, uh, first things first, the event is going to start uh, tomorrow on the 13th of January. So, it's really coming soon. It's coming tomorrow. But it's only available for everyone that is AR20 and above. So, do take note, if you are below AR20, you will not be able to participate in this event. Now, as far as the gameplay goes, uh, the details... I'm not going to go too much into it because it's pretty much the same thing as the previous win trace. However, if you are interested, I will put a link in the description for you guys to check it out yourself. But to sum it all up, basically, every win trace, every uh, stage or every event that you go into, there will be four people and there's going to be one hunter with three rebels and they each come with their own skills. So the hunter skills will be able to uh, identify the rough position of the rebels and the rebels have their own set of skills to uh, allow them to hide better uh, from the hunter. So nothing much really changed uh, as far as the mechanics of the game, but what I want to draw your attention to is actually this. So Kamisato Ayaka and Mona's uh, alternate sprints cannot be used in this win trace. So this is something that is different from the previous win trace that they have kind of added. And it is a very, very important thing because a lot of people, myself included, uh, has been kind of abusing Mona's dash. So what basically happens is, you know how Ayaka and Mona's dash allow you to go under, well, underground, right? And if you don't move, you don't consume stamina. So you're able to just uh, cheese the game as a rebel if you play Mona and you just hide in some corner and then you just, you just hold down your dash throughout the entire duration of the game. So... Basically what that allows you to do is um, it gives very little clue to the hunter and it's very difficult for the hunter to find you. And that is why they have disabled this. So these are some of the rebel and um, as well as the hunter skills. So I'm not going to go into it, but uh, you can go read it for yourself. The next thing that I want to talk about is the contested zones. So apparently they have included some new areas. Uh, and a lot of these areas are actually in the year for some reason, but whatever, right? Uh, but they also included some Inazuma areas, as you can see, the Hidden Trials and um, Rito Runaround, right? So, it's gonna be very interesting, however, do take note, you must unlock all of the Statues of Seven located in these areas before you can participate in the event. Because otherwise, you will not be able to play uh, in these stages. So just do take note, uh, if you haven't unlocked all the Statue of Seven, just go ahead and do it. Because uh, it will allow you to be able to play in more areas during the event itself. And then the last thing that I want to talk about is the Win Trace coins. So, uh, apparently, on the first day of event, the maximum number of win trace coins that you can obtain is 1200. This amount will gradually increase for each of the six days after that, up to a maximum of 6000 win trace coins. So it's kind of insane because uh, what I remember from the previous win trace was it was pretty grindy. Like, even if you didn't feel like playing much, you still had to kind of grind a couple of stages for the daily maximum uh, amount of coins which you can spend then in the event shop. Now, this time, they're going to increase the cap to 6,000 win trace coins. So, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, uh, but that is going to be it. So, hopefully, it will be more fun with the new area so that I will be more motivated to grind the win trace coins. Um, but yeah, they're also giving out Primo Gems as usual and uh, a lot of these challenges that uh, do give out some rewards as well. So, accumulate a certain amount of Wintrace coins to claim the corresponding rewards and complete Wintrace challenges to obtain additional Mora rewards. So, I think 
uh, there's gonna be a lot of moras to be uh, given out because uh, I mean, the ability to grind 6,000 win trace coins in one day will probably net you quite a lot of Mora, but that's just my assumption. So, yeah, that is basically it for the win trace event. Like I said, I'm going to be streaming this live both on YouTube and on Twitch, so do make sure you follow me both on YouTube and on Twitch uh, so you don't miss the when I go live and play with you guys. And uh, that's basically it for this video. Just a quick update on the Wintrace gameplay details. And I will see you guys tomorrow for the stream. Take care and peace out.